one, two, three. Yes. Take a couple, get some time. Parents want to get photos. importantly, these fantastic leaders of our community. I'm John Thanos, student athletes, and what they believe in and exemplify on a daily basis as the leaders of our student body on and off the field. I truly, here at Chatfield Senior High, always keep their priorities straight when working with our student athletes. While we value winning, and we do it often, we value teaching our athletes to be good teammates, brothers, sisters, students and citizens who will become great friends, spouses, employees, and leaders as they get older. You guys all deserve everything you have coming your way. We're going to allow each of these athletes to share their thoughts and to come up here and speak and share their thoughts as they celebrate this incredible accomplishment. Throughout my lacrosse career, Jess, thank you for your constant positive energy on the sideline to get me to this point. My dad has always pushed me to be my very best and has always been my rock and I appreciate all the time and effort you've put into practicing with me and pitching with to me even though you're supposed to be at work. Um, as for my mom, I appreciate it. I fortunate to play with a very successful program and me and the other seniors have had the ability to make it to state all four years that we're here. In my junior year, we made it to the final. My grandparents as well for being so supportive of my baseball career. Um, the coach I'd like to thank is Coach Pirat. I don't know if he's here at the moment, but um, after a rough freshman, sophomore year, he came into the program. You like, just like Sean, I mean, you filled in for that role for me, and there's been times when I didn't know if I could keep going on, but you stood there with me. Uh, Coach Heil, uh, you kept, helped me uh, keep my head up through all the, where is he? Oh, he's gone? Oh. Well, he, <laughs> he helps me through the recruiting process. I mean, as I'm pretty sure all of y'all know it. <laughs> Howdy, uh, I'm Jake Marshall. <laughs> I'm uh, going to play football at Shadow State. First and foremost, I want to thank my family. Um, they've been there always. Uh, they've always had my back and made me the person I am today. They've taught me countless lessons, but mainly they've taught me to work harder than everyone else and be a good person while you do it. Um, the coach that I chose was Coach Schaefer. He's not here, but he's one of my hardest times. And he helped me with my biggest thing in my life now, which is my faith. So. Uh, thank you to McGraws, Hiles, and Adams for being my second family and helping me out through everything. I love them so much. Um, thank you, Coach Long, for giving me this opportunity, and I'm excited for the next four years. Let's go, Eags. Hi, I'm Drew McGraw, and I'll play football at Grayson University next year. Um, First off, I want to thank Coach Regala and the Chatfield coaching staff for always being there for me and getting me ready to play at the next level. I want to thank Old Man Mac for always painting a smile on my face, even when I was in a bad mood of practice. He'll always make me laugh. 
I would like to thank Coach Balco for always being there for me and just being a great friend. Um, uh, I would like to thank the Marshalls, the Adams, and the House for being supportive. It made Chef feel incredibly proud. So you guys go ahead and pull out those pens. We're going to do our ceremonial signing here. All right, so three, two, one. <laughs> Um, what led up to this decision is just I did three visits to different places and Shadron gives me the biggest challenge and gives me the best level that I want to play at and when I visited there I mean it just kind of felt like family immediately and I just knew it was the right spot. Yeah it's definitely a special day for you because I mean the recruitment proce process is definitely uh, pretty stressful so getting it not necessarily over with but just finding the right spot for me is definitely a relief so yeah I'd say it's a big day. Uh, it's a big deal I mean this is what you work for and this is what all that time like you put in is everything for I mean all the sleepless hours and everything like that comes together for this so yeah it's it's definitely something I've always looked forward to and wanted and I've freshman year I watched my seniors do it so yeah definitely look forward to it. Hey, that paper what are you thinking? Let's get to work. That's basically all I'm thinking. Right when I get there, I just hope to be a leader that I was here and just help lead people and just become a better leader, to be honest. Just grow in myself, honestly, is what I need to do. I mean, it's everything to share it with my family and share it with my friends. I mean, it's it's definitely a big deal because, I mean, with COVID, it would still be cool, but with this, actually getting to experience it with everyone that I care about, it's definitely a different feeling. Last question. You can't take this away. This is the day you'll, you'll, you'll remember forever. What does this day mean to you? It means everything because, I mean, it's all the hard work, and then this is the result of it, so for sure it means everything. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Just kind of knowing what I want to do for the next couple years of my life, and, you know, it's a big day because this is the first time, you know, me and my best friend Jake won't be playing together and going to different schools and just having different lives, so it's been a great day. But, you know, it's also a little sad, but I'm just happy all this is happening, so. When you woke up this morning, did you have a little a bounce in your step and kind of describe what today was like? It was, I woke up and I was like, wow, um, I'm realizing my senior year is almost over. Um, football ended. We won that championship. Um, I'm really getting ready to, my life's just becoming, just getting ready to get on with my life and see what I want to do and see what the world has to offer. You mentioned championship. What's it mean to get that championship for school? And um, how did that help excel your career? Um, so getting that championship, just the hard work with all my teammates and all my friends, um, us just being together and having that bond. That championship meant a lot for this school and just because we're so close as a school in a whole and that really just brought us closer together. Um, and that helped me get more offers and I officially decided to go to Graceland today because um, it just felt like family and another place I could go help out. When that pin hits that paper, what do you think as you, as you sign your name? Um, my, just get ready. Um, college is coming. Um, my life is ahead of me. I have all the options. I, I, I'm glad I decided to go there. That pin hitting that paper, just how senior year is actually like almost over and graduation is going to come up here soon. Is there a lot of relief off your shoulders today? you feel like this is a, is a good day? And if there so, is. What does it mean? Um, just how I decided to go to Graceland and I have the opportunity. Um, it just meant a lot. Uh, I don't need to stress about going on any more visits or telling coaches that I picked somewhere else. So it's just been just been great to have that feeling of signing. So it's just been really magical, and I appreciate it a lot. Last question: What can you bring your team, and how, how far can your career go? What do you hope to accomplish? Um, well, Graceland's rebuilding right now, so I hope to just um, be the best I can be for them and uh, be a great teammate and just. Um, really just win a championship with Coach Ross because he's trying to rebuild that program. I'm just excited to see what happens. Are you excited to be part of a rebuilding process? I am because it gives me that challenge, just drive to try to start my freshman year and just gives me that incentive to go play my heart out. Thank you. Thank Good you luck. so much. Good luck this year. Yeah, um, I mean, the recruiting process is a big thing. It takes a lot of, like, effort, and honestly, sometimes it's it has its ups and downs. Like, it's really hard sometimes, and it's really good. 
Um, I did a lot of different camps and different visits like over the summer and stuff like that, which is kind of hard with COVID, so it was like prolonged. But when I got to Mesa, um, I really enjoyed their camp and I performed well and I felt like it was a really good feeling that I had about the school. And then meeting the coach, I felt really good about it. Honestly, it was just like joy and relief. Like I knew what I was going and there's a lot of kids that don't know what they're doing, but I like know exactly what I'm going to be doing next. Um, I mean, it's been a really big goal of mine and it felt really good to finally like achieve that goal and get to that level. I hope to bring like a lot to the table. I want to be a part of the team and actually mean something and not just be like on the team. Like I want to do something at Colorado Mesa and actually be able to like find that success while I'm there. Um, I mean, it feels really good. I'm friends with a lot of the kids here, so it just feels nice like being in that community and being with all my friends like signing today. Last question, you're staying home in the state. What's it mean to, be, to, be, to stay home and, and be in, in, represent your state? Um, it feels good. It's like a right amount of like space where I can like go to college, but I also not, like I can come home. And I'm really close to my brother, so it'll be nice to like be able to see him still. Uh, anything you want to add? I don't think so. Scobabs, baby. <laughs> Thank you.